Riverside now has a ton of new features that makes editing content even faster. From AI-generated show notes to individual track editing, magic clips to quickly create that short-form content, set pace, remove filler words, and more. But what if you want to take advantage of all those features but record completely in person, not with remote guests? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you several ways where you can record just with in-person guests but still take advantage of the Riverside editor and all those incredible AI tools to expedite your workflow. The key thing to remember is to take advantage of all those features is you need separate audio and video inputs for every guest. That could mean multiple devices, and honestly, that might be easiest. I'll show you several options for that. You can do it with a single computer and multiple web browsers, but there are some limitations, and I'll talk about that in a few moments. For the first scenario, I'm going to use a laptop. This is a MacBook Pro, but you could also use a PC. And then I'm also going to use an iPad for a second device. We'll assume that this is a two-guest in-person setup. Now, the Riverside app is available on all mobile platforms. So these two devices could be an iPhone and an iPad, a MacBook and an iPad, a Windows laptop and an Apple device, or any combination of those. We'll go through a couple combinations. But for right now, let's assume that this MacBook Pro is going to be the host whoever's Riverside account it is and who's gonna be hosting the call, and the iPad will be used by the guest. And this is an in-person setup. Let's go to the Riverside Studio here on the laptop. Now, one of the main things is we wanna make sure that every person has their own microphone or audio input. So I'm gonna plug the Shure MV7. That's gonna go directly into the laptop. You might see it pop up to allow, let's allow that. And now we're gonna choose the MV7 as both the microphone input and speaker output. Choose the camera up here. You can also attach a webcam to your computer or even use a mirrorless. We're going to use the built-in webcam for now. And this is going to go against the typical procedure when using Riverside. But I'm going to select, I'm using headphones, but actually not plug headphones in. Because this is a completely in-person recording, you'll be able to hear the other guests just out loud. You won't have headphones in. But we're not going to have any audio playing out of our devices because that's going to cause some echo. So I'm going to select, I am using headphones, even though I'm not, and then click join studio. Now let's invite our guest, which is actually going to be the other in-person guest, and we're going to use this iPad right here for them. I'll click the invite link here on my laptop, copy the guest link, and here on the iPad, I've downloaded the Riverside app. We'll open the app, and then we can join the studio as a guest, and we're going to paste the link, and we're going to paste that guest link from the other computer. You can send it via text, airdrop it, however you'd like. We'll call this in-person guest. You see some tips there right before you start. And now I'm gonna plug in another USB microphone into the iPad. I'm actually using the brand new M4 iPad Pro, and it works great with many different USB microphones and even audio interfaces. I have an entire video on using the iPad as a full podcast production studio. You can check out that video up here or the links in the description. I'm gonna tap join. You'll see my other in-person guest is the uh, finder pillow there. And now that I've plugged in the USB mic, you should see this pop up here. And I'm going to tap no. Typically, that means I'll plug in a pair of wired headphones to the USB microphone so I can hear myself and my remote guests. But again, we're completely in person right now. So you'll be hearing your other guests just live in the room. But as you can see, we have two USB microphones, one for each in-person guest, and we have two camera feeds. We have this iPad pointing towards our other in-person guest and the webcam of the laptop pointing to myself. So a separate video feed for each person and a separate audio input, namely the USB microphones. And this is all we would need to do to take advantage of in-person recording. Let's actually start the recording here in the studio. And now let's say I'm the host and I'm talking into my microphone. This way I'm gonna get a separate track, both for myself, video and audio. And we'll be able to see this in the editor because if we wanna use some of our AI layouts, which focuses on the active speaker, that does that through audio. And we wanna be able to make sure that each audio channel is clean. So the host talks into their microphone and they have their camera pointed towards them. And we'll pretend that this is the finder pillow talking and you'll see that they have their own separate audio track and video track. These will be able to download separately from that recordings page, but also be utilized in the editor. You'll see two different name labels. You'll be able to edit the content per person. And this is also important if we wanna make magic clips or vertical videos from the content, each person needs their own camera and it should be in landscape mode or widescreen. Keep everyone in the center of the frame, record in that landscape style, and then Magic Clips will crop everyone properly so it'll look great on that short form video. All right, let's say we're done recording. I'll hit stop here. It's gonna upload the files for all the in-person guests, and then we can access them from a Riverside dashboard in just a few moments. All right, now that the files have processed after just a few moments, let's go into the recording. We can preview it here. You'll see there's both in-person guests, myself and the Finder Pillow. And if we go to the bottom, you'll see you can download individual tracks for both in-person guests, both the raw audio and raw video file. 
And if we jump into the Riverside Editor, we'll click the purple button here and create a new edit. You see we have our multiple tracks, the in-person guest and myself. We could zoom in and even see here in the waveform the different speakers. And if I wanted to go to a vertical 9x16 video, everything will format properly. I can add those animated captions, maybe reorder the tracks, apply some of our magic tools like set pace feature, smooth speech, which removes all filler words, or even apply magic audio. And that's how we could take advantage of all the Riverside features by recording with strictly in-person guests. Now I did that with a laptop and an iPad, but again, you can do any combination, even two iPhones or two Android devices. Let's do an iPhone and an iPad just for one other setup. So here we have an iPhone and an iPad. I'll launch the Riverside app on the iPhone, and this is gonna be the host for the call. I'll go to the studio I want and then click the record button. Allow access to the camera and microphone if it's your first time running it. And we'll say, I'm ready. Now you might need to unlock your device orientation. This way you can turn it into landscape mode. Let's join the studio. And now I'm gonna plug in a USB microphone directly into my iPhone. Once I plug in that USB mic, I tap no on the wired connection and I'm ready to record on my iPhone. I would recommend a small tripod with a phone clamp. This way you can get that phone up higher and get a more flattering angle. Now let's invite our other in-person guest. I'll tap invite on the phone, invite guest. Let's copy that link. I can text it to someone, send it in Slack or an email. And now on this iPad, I'll join studio as a guest. We'll use our friend, the finder pillow once again. I'm gonna plug in a USB microphone to the iPad, tap no on this wired connection again. And now I'm ready to record an in-person podcast with two people using just an iPhone and an iPad. Let's tap record. And here's the host talking into his USB microphone. I'm using the iPhone camera right here to record directly in Riverside. Now, if you have more than two in-person guests, just have another device join the studio via that guest link. And then you can have recordings for up to eight in-person guests on different devices. For instance, let's join the studio from this iPad. I'll open the Riverside app. I'll join using that studio link. I'll tap I'm ready, click join. And now I have a third video feed or third in-person guest, and they can all be in person getting separate video and audio tracks with different microphones and cameras. I stop this recording, I'll let the files upload, and you can see the upload is now completed on the iPhone and both iPad devices. And we can go to the studio and look at our recordings. Now let's say you only have one device, say a laptop or desktop computer, and you still wanna record with multiple in-person guests. Well, there is a way to do that by utilizing multiple browsers. One disclaimer though, when you're using a single computer and multiple browsers for a Riverside recording, that's gonna be very processor intensive. Your computer is processing two video streams at the same time, two audio streams, probably from two different audio devices, and that's gonna be a lot of load on the system. So be aware of your computer processor, how powerful it is and the RAM, and maybe do a test before you go into an actual recording trying to use a single computer for multiple in-person guests. But if you wanna try it, I'll show you how to do it. Now you're actually gonna to have to use two different browsers, not just two different browser windows. So we would recommend using Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge web browser. If you wanted to try a third, you could try Brave, but again, three video and audio streams all being processed at the same time is likely gonna to be too much for most systems. So we're just gonna do two. I'll go to the studio on the main account where I'm logged into Riverside. Choose my camera, microphone, and speaker. I'm gonna say I'm using headphones, even though I don't have them in right now, because I'm gonna hear my other in-person guest in the room, and I'll join the studio. Now I'll copy the guest link right here and go to my other web browser. Again, not just a different window of the same browser. It has to be a different application. So Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge, two different web browsers. I'll paste the guest link in that second browser. Now when I join in the second browser window, I'm gonna choose my iPhone as the camera, I'm gonna choose a different audio interface. So I have the Shure MV7 Plus USB mic plugged in. I'm gonna choose that as my mic input and speaker output, which is different than what I am using. Me as the host, I'm using a different microphone and that's plugged into my Rodecaster Pro 2. I'm gonna select I am using headphones and then click join studio. And now you'll see when I talk, you have a different video feed and you're getting my microphone. And if I speak into the USB mic, you see that the other in-person guest audio is going up and down and they have a different camera feed. Now let's press record and see what this looks like after the fact. I'll start recording and now I can talk as the host. I am being recorded in one web browser and my other in-person guest is recording in this second browser window. Right now I'm the active speaker. Now I just muted myself as the host and I'm talking into the USB microphone for my other in-person guest, namely Finder Guy here. And this is gonna be the active track. This is again how you can use the Riverside editor and our AI layouts because there's a separate audio input and video input for each in-person guest. So use at least two separate browsers, Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge, a window open for each. 
have one be the host logged into the Riverside account and then have the other web browser window join as a guest. I will stop this recording. You see all the files are uploading, both for me as the host and the other in-person guest. Let's go back to that previous recording to see what we have here. And like I mentioned, we have separate audio and video tracks, both for me as the host and my other two in-person guests. Yes, even that iPad that we had joined last minute, we get a separate track for them. That was a full 30 second recording. Let's jump into the editor to see what that looks like. If I go to tracks, you'll see we have both myself, my other two in-person guests. We can change the layout, do a vertical video here. I could zoom into the timeline and we still have color-coded waveforms and speaker labels are here as well. And you can see we even have the three video feeds if we go into that nine by 16 version as well. We can apply those magic tools like set pace, remove filler words and magic audio. And when we're ready to export, we can click the export button there and export up to 4K video, normalize audio so everyone's the same volume and we're ready to export. So that's how to record all with in-person guests and still take advantage of all the incredible features Riverside has to offer. If you wanna learn how to do hybrid recording, mean you have one in-person guest and maybe one remote guest or other combinations, you can check out this video right here where I show you how to do that hybrid setup and still get high quality video and audio recording. Don't forget to subscribe to the Riverside channel right here and hit that like button. If you have any questions on this setup, hybrid recording or anything Riverside, leave comments below this video. I'll answer you personally there. And I also have a video on why it's important to add video to your podcast and how YouTube can really help grow your audience and increase your discoverability. You can check out that video right up here. And thank you for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.